How's it going, everybody? Dotoroi here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Dragon Ball Fighters. Not really a shocker on this channel, but we're going to be talking about the game's future going into 2022. Now, if you would have asked me if I thought the game would receive further DLC announcements and updates after the big Season 3 finale with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, honestly, I think I would have said probably not. That felt very much like a finale to me. But as you probably know by now, they have actually announced an upcoming DLC character completely standalone for what we know, and that is Android 20. In her lab coat. We actually just received that character shown in jump page very recently. I didn't do a video on it because, as things go, even for Dragon Ball Fighters shown in jump pages, this one was very, very light on details. Really, the only things we get to see is her character render, a shot from her intro, and her victory screen. Oh, and one shot of her level one, but it doesn't even say what she's doing in the level one, so all we can do there is assume. Other than that, the only thing that this page actually mentions is that it reminds us that the last character was available on March 2020. Which actually hurt to read, dude. I did not know it had been so long. But it's probably for the best that it's there because this ties into what we're going to talk about now with the potential release dates for Android 21 Lab Code Edition. Now, barring any very late announcements today, which I don't think will happen, I'm recording this on the fourth anniversary of Dragon Ball Fighter's release, January 26th. So it was possible that the character could have dropped today. I didn't think it was going to happen, but they could have done it. Uh, but it doesn't look like they will. Uh, hopefully they don't. And then next few days or this is going to age very poorly but barring any really shocking surprises i think we're going to learn more about android 21 at the dragon ball battle hour in which they'll announce her and her release date and probably show off some gameplay as well all of that feels like a very very safe guess to me the stuff that i'm more hopeful for the stuff that isn't as safe is that hopefully they announce more that comes along with android 21 i know a lot of people are already running with the idea that android 21 lab coat is a part of a season four pass but they have not mentioned that anywhere officially from what i've seen and to be honest i don't think that that's something they're going to do again i would love it if they did don't get me wrong i would love to have a guaranteed amount of characters on their way but i feel like they're just going to be doing individual dlc drops from now on if they do more after 21 at all luckily for us i think the odds of them continuing to do dlc drops for fighters continuing in 2022 is pretty good even if they are a little bit slim we discussed this in the last video where android 21 was announced but dragon ball the breakers is looking to be a very supplemental game just something in the background for them so if they want to continue to support xenoverse 2 and fighters which is something they've said and committed to uh xenoverse 2 was way more direct though it said yeah we're gonna do more dlc fighters just said yeah we'll keep doing stuff with fighters uh so hopefully the battle hour is a place where they cement that they meant dlc for fighters as well uh which is why i'm, I'm hopeful for it but again not confirmed in any way there's also the matter of tournament play in 2022 for dragon ball fighters and that also kind of ties in with the battle hour because at the 2022 battle hour we were supposed to get the world championship final matches uh, unfortunately just today those were announced to be indefinitely postponed and instead in their place they're going to do a different online event for that while this does obviously suck and it would have been way better to have a fun tournament to watch as we were getting gameplay of 21 and hopefully other announcements this shouldn't affect the announcements portion hopefully if people were looking forward to that but yeah if you were looking at that tournament that unfortunately is indefinitely postponed which really just makes you wonder when that's going to happen if at all the world championship finale always usually happens around this time of year for fighters so it's very unfortunate that's going to miss it and i do wonder if they ever will double back around to it at some point later in the year this postponement and the mention of an online event even though i don't think they were talking about that kind of online event has gotten people in the replies talking about rollback and how it needs to be added and how it's probably coming down the line for dragon ball fighters in 2022 and i would just like to say i know i haven't been very super optimistic but i don't think rollback heck is going to happen uh, for Dragon Ball Fighters. If they ever do a Dragon Ball Fighters 2, then I would say rollback would almost certainly happen in that game. But as for Dragon Ball Fighters as it is right now, I can't see them adding rollback in an update. It would be very nice. It would be super surprising. But I think what's more realistic at this current stage is that they just keep dropping characters in until they're ready to move on to a number two and maybe a little bit less of a time frame. With the way Dragon Ball games work, and this doesn't have to be how they work, but I always see them as just kind of fulfilling their contractual obligations with the ip so if i see one dragon ball game release a year i'm going to assume that that is the only dragon ball game for that year so with a game like breakers already announced dragon ball fighters 2 could not come out at the earliest until at least two years from now and if another dragon ball game is announced after breakers then fighters is two years away from that that said though hey bandai if you want to prove some rollback for this game I ain't, i'm not gonna stop you in fact i'd very much enjoy that update but again they've said that rollback isn't something they're going to do 
and I think it's best to take them at their word for that and just hope for the best case scenario number two which is just more characters more tournament support down the line as long as you know the world is capable of allowing that and more fun events and announcements I mentioned it earlier in the video but this is Dragon Ball Fighters fourth anniversary so it is kind of crazy how long fighters has been going on and just how long it's been fun for and while it does hurt that there is no Raditz in the game yet or you know whoever your favorite character is <laughs> man mine is Raditz though each and every DLC character has been a ton of fun so I am really looking forward to Android 21 with the lab coat let me know down below in the comments what you're hoping to see from the Dragon Ball Battle Hour event which will be happening February 18th I think around there I just totally guessed right there it'll be up on the screen in the, or the earlier parts of the videos but yeah somewhere in February let me know what you're hoping to see there and that while you're down there please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and just let me know what your favorite fighters memory is or how much you've been enjoying fighters over the four or past four years uh, for me it's been a ton of fun literally changed my life which is crazy to say for a video game but it did other than that though i have been dot to do it thank you guys so much for watching this update video and all that and i will see you in the next one